I'm gonna go through my favorite pink lipsticks with you guys today. Um, I've taken photos of myself wearing all of the shades. You can find those on the blog post affiliated with this video. I'll also link to them at the end of the video, but I thought it would be helpful to talk through each one um, and swatch them on the back of my hand here. The reason I'm gonna put them on the back of my hand and not my lips is because they look different on everyone else's lips. In fact, one of the colors uh, my sister was wearing and I texted her and was like, tell me about that lipstick. I gotta have it. It's perfect. It's like this perfect warm pink, not quite coral, but just the most beautiful pink. And she's like, it's live it up, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm like, oh, I wear that all the time, but it looks way more cool on my lip color. So a lot depends on what your natural lip color is and just how things wear on your lips and how they match up with your skin tone and your other makeup and all that. So I'll be swatching them on the back of my hand so you can see them. But if you wanna see photos of the lip colors on me, if maybe you have similar coloring to me or you just wanna see them, uh, you can find those photos on the blog post, like I said. All right, enough chatting, let's get into it. What is actually on my lips and what I've really enjoyed wearing lately is the uh, Pixie by Petra Lip Glow. I actually picked up a second color of this well, I ordered one. This line you can find at Target. And what I love about this is it's in a little twist up stick so you don't have to worry about a pencil sharpener because who has time for that? It's a sheer finish and it gives the nicest little wash of color. So if you prefer a sheer or a really easy to wear lipstick, like you don't want anything to mess with, this is the kind of thing you can put on without looking at it. Like just blind, eyes closed, put it on and it's gonna look okay. Other lipsticks, you need to pay close attention to how you're outlining if they're just a more full finish than this one. So this is a really nice sheer pink. The other, I know I'm talking about pink lipsticks, but the other color I got is Ruby. Uh, and this ends up being a really nice watermelon shade on the lips because it is a sheer. It's not this color. It's, it is this color, it's just sheer, but don't be intimidated by this shade. I'm really not much of a lip gloss girl, but I picked this up after hearing so much chatter about it. Um, this is the NYX Butter Gloss. This shade is Vanilla Cream Pie, uh, and I love this. It does not last very long in terms of like the color payoff, but it's a really fun, bright pink to wear, and it's obviously more shiny than the Pixie Lip Glow because it is a gloss. So what I find with this is I love the color but by time, like the gloss part of it has worn off, the color has as well. So there's no staining or lasting effect from this. Um, it's a great price being that it's NYX and it's such a pretty pink. If you like a gloss, get this. Just know you may have to reapply if you want more color payoff. The next two I'm gonna talk about, well, I'll start with the first one, is this is by Bobbi Brown. It is Pink Cloud. This has been what I've worn more often than not lately. Uh, this is just a classic satin finish lipstick. You can see we're all in the same family here, but we're basically going sheer gloss and then a more true lipstick. Sorry for the use of the middle finger there. <laughs> that probably didn't look good. Um, but like I said, this is pink cloud, uh, just a true classic pink. And then another pink I've enjoyed from Bobbi Brown, the same line. Is it pink nude or nude pink? It is pink nude. This one has a lot more brown and you'll see it. And I put it right here next to pink cloud. See that? So this is more of a true nude. It has a little bit more brown in it. Um, I wear this on days that I'm wearing, or I wanna just have my makeup look more sophisticated, a little bit more classic and not as like bright and fun as Pink Cloud will give me, um, but it's still a really easy to wear nude pink. What you won't see in this lineup or you won't see me wherever is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. I know that's like an iconic shade that so many people love. I find it to be way too brown on me. So this is about as brown as I'll go, and this is, like I said, the Bobbi Brown one in pink nude. A Charlotte Tilbury shade that I do love is Live It Up. This shade is very similar. This accidentally went through the washing machine, and then I put it in the fridge. So it's, it's fine, but it looks a little questionable, that's why. Uh, this is similar to, but a little bit more violet in tone, uh, to Pink Cloud, so that's this one here. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Live It Up, also a really beautiful pink but more, pur more purple in shade compared to Pink Cloud here. Um, it, these two are more similar, but this one definitely wears more brown, and this one looks a little bit more mauve. The last one I wanna mention, this has been a long time love, and I know I have left a lot out. In fact, I know I left a Trish McAvoy one out. Um, I've lost it. I, I wear it a lot, and I cannot remember where I set it down. Um, but I wanna tell you about the NARS uh, lip 
what is this? Velvet matte lip pen pencil and sex machine. I wanted to show you a matte option. Uh, this one also kind of veers into the more mauve undertone, a little bit more purple, but it wears so nicely. And I wanted to provide, like I said, a matte option for y'all if you like matte. I wore this on my sister's wedding day. I was uh, one of the maids of honor and um, it didn't need, it needed one reapplication, but that was it. So this lasts a really long time. It does not turn into lip liner like some long wear lipstick can, uh, and it looks really beautiful. So if you want a slightly more mauve, like I feel like this could work all year round, where pink cloud, kind of this brighter one, and even this like bubblegum pink are more like fun spring and summer shades. You certainly can wear them whenever you want, do whatever you want with makeup, it should be fun. There shouldn't be all these rules around it. But if you want something that kind of makes sense with the seasons and with your wardrobe changes, um, any of these three, like kind of down at the bottom would work well for that. So that's it. Those are my favorite pink lipsticks at the moment. I feel like everything needs a disclaimer. I'm always trying new products. Um, but yeah, these are some really good pink ones. If you want to see photos of these products on my lips, you can check out the blog post. And then I've also linked to them here. You just click on this box right on the screen and you'll be able to shop anything I talked about.